Hello everyone, it's been a while, but now I'm back again with another retro anime review. This time we have a charming short anime OVA called Call Me Tonight. Call Me Tonight was released in 1986. It was produced by the studio AIC, or Anime International Company. It was one of the first of the very many OVAs they would release in the 80s and the 90s. It would be the second OVA released by AIC, following the Icer One OVA, which first aired a year earlier in 1985. In fact, I've done a review on one of their OVAs, Black Magic M66, so check that out if you have time. And I'm sure I'm going to end up doing reviews on a good number of their OVAs because they were responsible for a lot of the classics. This OVA was directed by Tatsuya Okamoto. Okamoto was a fairly obscure director, and this OVA seems to be his most well-known work. Other notable anime that he has worked on include directing several episodes of The Legend of Galactic Heroes, as well as an episode of the Armitage 3 OVA. So first I'll summarize the plot. The first of the story's main characters is a young girl named Rumi. She works running a phone hotline where men can call in and talk to young girls. One night she receives a call from the other main character, a young man named Ryo. On the phone call, Ryo tells her that every time he attempts to jerk off, he turns into a monster. This intrigues Rumi and she decides to meet up with him. They decide to meet up for a date in a restaurant and when she shows up, Rumi tries to tease him and seduce him, which leads to him transforming into a monster right there in the restaurant in front of everybody. He's able to get control of himself and suppress the transformation, and they run away from the restaurant, but not before everyone in the restaurant sees him transform. Rumi is attracted to Ryo, and she comes to like him, and she decides that she wants to keep going out with him and try to help him learn how to suppress his transformations. Later on in the OVA, it's revealed that the monster that keeps coming out in Rio is an alien life form that came to Earth from outer space and lives by absorbing other life forms. The alien that is now within him traveled around from planet to planet over a long period of time and absorbed a large number of alien life forms. And these creatures are what makes up the monsters that Rio transforms into. Rio just happens to have the ability to suppress the transformation where all the other organisms the alien had tried to take over in the past had been absorbed into the alien. Instead, Rio rather absorbed the alien and now the alien is trying to manifest itself out in Rio. I won't get into every detail of the plot, but most of the remaining plot focuses on another girl named Oyuki, who also becomes interested in Rio. She confronts Rumi and tells her to back away from Rio and let her have Rio, but Rumi refuses. Oyuki is a boss of a group of thugs and she has them kidnap Rumi and Ryo and tries to force Ryo to be with her. This sets up the climax of the OVA where Ryo transforms into a monster and the alien inside of him starts to take control. And while fighting Oyuki's gang in monster form, he has to try to expel the alien from his body. As far as the ending, I'll leave that open to you to watch the actual OVA. The OVA is very short, it's only about 30 minutes long, so there's not much risk of wasting time if you end up not liking the OVA. The characters in the plot are actually surprisingly well developed, considering how short the OVA is. You're not going to find any incredible writing here, or anything too spectacular in terms of character development or anything like that, but the story's pretty decent. And despite being such a short OVA, it still remains to be one of the most memorable OVAs of its time period, and is definitely very entertaining. So if nothing else, if you have 30 minutes of free time, just put on this anime and maybe you'll find something you enjoy. This OVA was one of the first 80s OVAs that I ever watched, and it still remains one of the most memorable to me. It's a really fun OVA, and that's actually helped by its short runtime because it never gets a chance to be boring. It's always action-packed. Everything about it is pretty charming and fun. It blends a lot of different genres. It's kind of horror, it's kind of comedy, it's kind of a romance, so it appeals to a lot of people through that. 
it's got classic 80s animation and music that really bring you back to that time period and if you're into that kind of aesthetic this one is definitely another classic that you can always go to it's one of the first OVAs that I think of when I think of that style of anime that was so popular during the 80s. For the most part, the animation is pretty standard for its time, but the monster transformations in this one are really awesome. Ryo transforms into a ton of different crazy monsters with some really awesome, horrifying looking designs. And the transformation sequences are really tightly and smoothly animated, and it looks really great. There's a few scenes that look so good that it's worth watching the anime just for that. Ultimately, I give this one a 3.5 out of 5. It's not the absolute best, but it's really solid. It gives you everything you want of an OVA of that time, and I think it's definitely entertaining and definitely one of the more fun OVAs that I've seen. I don't really hear people talk about this one much, so I don't know if it's really one of the more popular ones, but if not, I hope more people give this likable, fast-paced, and fun OVA a try. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I've got more videos on the way, so I hope you'll watch those too. I really appreciate anyone who likes, comments, and subscribes. It really means a lot to me, and I really thank you for doing that. So thank you, and until next time, bye.